Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so, <laughs> you probably noticed this has become a daily series. <laughs> um, I, I have been given a, a few tips here by Dark Moon, one of my uh, great subscribers, always giving me handy advice, and hopefully he's going to jump into the game with me soon. Um, I've uh, my, my lovely character here, Dan's here, he, um, he picked a terrible bloody planet to land on, didn't he? Didn't he? It's all desert. Mostly, there's not much trees, and apparently, um, the lovely green stuff that provides oxygen for everything in our, on our planet also um, holds back the pollution on this one. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why it's spread out so much. Everything I can see, aside from a couple little spots, is covered in it. So, <clears throat> I uh, jumped in last night and uh, moved a few things around, just in preparation. Uh, for this video. We got more walls. I should probably build another one because that's not going to be enough. <laughs> yeah. I also uh, put a like a, a manual thing up here so I can build as many of these as I feel like. I know you can just block these off. Um, but um, yeah, I might set this up permanently in some other spot soon. I actually need some more metal plates. So let's go grab some of those if I remember where I put them. They're not down here. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, put up a few more defenses, um, and I'll show you, yeah, because we're getting pummeled down the bottom. I've put a wall blocking this off. I kind of need to block off this part. Uh, I'll show you all shortly, I suppose. That's right there over here. Because I, I have been playing a game on, uh, like, privately, my, my own sort of private game, uh, just to learn a few more of the mechanics. This seems to be the correct way of doing it, just probably not this way around maybe oh, I, don't, I don't know I'll figure this out but um yeah everything needs to come off the sides um including all of well I mean I guess we're already starting on that right I ran straight past the gun thing because I'm an absolute muppet all right here we go let's chuck the plates in here does it need anything else right now no all right good build me guns 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 and I'll take these okay because <laughs> yeah what we're doing or what I'm doing rather or you know whatever what's happening right now is this it looks a little weird, uh, maybe. I, I don't know what, how other people do it. I've watched a couple of games um, when I was first learning to play it. That's how I um, ended up with uh, this. Because, <laughs> yeah, in my last game, I did send a, a rocket off planet. It was a very easy game. The settings were, were made that way on purpose. And uh, Nihilus, if you haven't heard of Nihilus, right, he runs a Factorio Masterclass uh, series on YouTube brilliant absolutely brilliant and um yeah so um i can actually build the the oil refinery stuff pretty much straight away without having to worry about um the correct way of doing it because <laughs> i can't be bothered doing maths it's a friday for me <laughs> okay so we have a uh, i don't suspect anything's going to come through here which is why there are no guns here because this cliff face is still here however we're clearly getting pummeled on this side and I have a belt that's going to run around um, what do you call it reloading all of our guns they will only ever take uh, 10 uh, for themselves and they'll let the rest pass so we don't have to worry about making too many ammo factories but we're probably going to need a couple more oh, chop chop cool cool so I'll I'll set up a bit more of this and yeah and, and I'll bring you back in a minute <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, all right. So, haha. <laughs> yeah, I needed a lot more ammo. A lot more ammo. Um, I also redid this um, the wall thing here. I got some of these level two, the the new uh, assembly machine twos, and I redid this instead of this tiny little thing we had here. Chucked in a couple more mining uh, thing and bobs. Had to move some stuff, but um, yeah. So we've completed the wall um, down this side. I had to make it jut out here a little bit. And uh, I've gone all the way along here. Now, the whole purpose of this... I'll just grab these bullets in case I need them. It's not producing all that many bullets at the moment, but it should work. This will change once I have the belt loop all the way back around. But, um, yeah, see, some of these have still got ammunition in it that I put there. Which is fine. So that's good. Um, but, yeah, see, we ran out of power. So I had to build a whole bunch more of these. Now, um... Uh, what am I going for here? Eventually, we're going to end up with lasers. Which, awesome. You know, like, come on, lasers. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to need to make sure that we definitely have power out here. But also, at the same time... No, no. Um, these guys need it. Um, 
in my last in the last game I played, I tried doing a um a coal ammo bout as well. So because these guns don't technically need power, they just need ammo. But um I could never quite work out how to get the uh, the coal and the ammo to work right on the bout. I mean it it was always possible, but then I discovered there were lasers. So um. <laughs> you know, <laughs> have a, ballistic weapons and the lasers work very well in conjunction with each other. Because yeah, this is happening. I moved this from up here and put it down here. And um, I hadn't quite finished the wall off on this side. Like this wasn't here. So they came straight up. Well, actually, no, they came up kind of on a funny angle here. The first slot started to get hit by the guns, and they went uh oh, and they tried to go around the wall. But the moment they changed their vector to head instead of this way, this way. Uh, the gun hit them and they turned and headed straight for the gun. So I don't think they're smart enough to work out they need to run around and away from the guns, which is good. That means that effectively they're always going to run into this spot here, I'm guessing. But this is how I typically like to do it. One space between each gun when I've got enough guns. Right now I don't really have that many. So I mean that's just going to be there for a minute because the plan is... Sorry for my uh, ADD here. <laughs> My plan is to put a wall from this point all the way over to this point. This whole length here. And just guns along the whole thing with gates in it. Um, oh, we're under attack. Yeah, see, they, see, that's why this works. There's only three guns there in a little concrete bunker because they, they've got to run past it to hit anything. And that thing will shoot at them. I love that. That is fantastic. I also did this wall here, which doesn't have a belt fed to it yet. So what, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just show you what I do here. And um, you can tell me it's it's wrong. Um, that's fine. I don't mind being wrong. I like to put two side by side when I'm only doing like this many, and then start the next one with just the tiniest overlap on the on the furthest gun. So, what I'm hoping here is this gun can cover both of these. This gun can help cover this one while this one's doing the same job. Um, you know what I mean? So there's always three guns that can be brought onto target. Because I find two tends to not be enough. And, um, well, this can just be a little overkill sometimes. Because that, that there, no, go, go away. This here is what's needed down here. Oh, 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 oh. See, see what I mean? Two guns, just not enough. They hit the wall. All right, okay. Good, that's a good test. Ah, I was about to end the recording and just carry on my merry old way until something else happened. But no, no. I, I, I don't know what I'm researching. I'm just kind of going with the next ones in the queue. Figuring that they're going to be cheaper. Because uh, I don't like to waste too much time. It's a shame you can't rotate the guns. Because they look stupid facing the wrong way. Alright, give me more. So in this case, we might need more. Because whatever is directly south of us that they're coming from, it must be rather large. Um, so we'll put five. Seeing as... Yeah, a whole lot of them got up next to that wall, didn't they? Alright, we'll do this. I don't really know if there's enough ammo on the bout to actually accomplish this task, but... It doesn't matter, because we've got some here. Good. <laughs> right, so the, the attacks are constant. I actually like that. Um, I'm probably not going to once they start spitting at me. Because um, <laughs> that's just disgusting. But, <laughs> but it gives you a kind of, uh, like, a sort of uh, an arbitrary sort of timer almost like you can't just sit on your laurels and do nothing you've, you've, you've got to you've got to keep going keep building keep uh, expanding oh no oh no yeah they found my soft weak underbelly uh oh we might have to repair some stuff here I was wondering if this would happen uh oh we lost something what do we lose Oh, they do go after the belts, eh? Did all we lose was belts? Because that's fine. Right? Yeah, okay. That's cool. Man, I like that. Only two of them, though, eh? Well, that's a bit of a, um... A uh, bit of, what do you call them? Uh, a message, a warning. Because <laughs> I was saying, no, nah, I don't really need to block this off just yet. I think I do. Don't really have the ammo for this. Anybody who's come from my short will know what that means. That means I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's just barricade ourselves in. Uh, 
Okay, fine. We'll go through this for now. This is not permanent. Actually, none of these walls are permanent because most of these um, cliffs are going to go. We'll blow these all up eventually. Um, don't ask me when. I'm pretty sure I need the petroleum first for the uh, explosive stuff. So let's put two there. Then we'll put yeah, two there. And we'll stick another four up here. Thankfully, I got a little assembly machine to build these because it is so irritating to build these by yourself. Because they require a lot of stuff. Hey, where are you? What the? I didn't tell you to go nowhere, buddy. Um, I'm holding control and clicking um, the right mouse button to put half of what's in my hand in the gun. Because otherwise, this would have no ammo. <laughs> let's go, let's go. How many rounds are in each? Uh, do we, uh, is there any way of knowing how many rounds are in every, um, in every clip? In every, sorry, magazine? They're not actually called a clip. Why do we call them a clip? They're not a clip. Eh, yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, just build back some of those. I could use some actual ammunition. <laughs> I keep using mine to fill up the guns. Alright, what well, we're doing? Guns. <laughs> more guns, more guns. Alright. I might uh Yeah, that was that was that was cool. I liked that. That was interesting. Um I was gonna say I might cut it here, but now I'm probably gonna about to get taxed somewhere else. Uh Yeah, okay. Um actually what I'll do is I'll do this. Okay, cool. I just made myself a little bookmark. What the is that iron ore, really? Is that it's like a tiny little patch of it. I made myself a little bookmark so I can actually cut from here if uh, uh, anything doesn't happen. And if that's the case, then none of you will ever know about it because um, you won't even be hearing this part. Alright. Let's... Yeah, see, we keep coming under attack in this spot up here. Which is fine as long as they've got the ammo to keep the, keep the, um, keep the guns going. See, we've got... I've got no ammo over here. Right, neither do any of these guys. I need to keep concentrating on the things that I'm still doing, eh? Alright, so we'll chuck a couple of these in here. Um, yes, let's go like this. Right, so we're almost there. Almost. <laughs> oh, okay. I've come under attack again down this bottom corner. <clears throat> Not right now, but uh, I, it's hard to get the recording started in time to actually catch it. Um, it didn't flash red, however. So I think that means we're good. And also, yeah, you can hop, tap R and drag sideways. Like, if I went, if I tap R and hit north, it rotates it in that direction. That is cool. Man, there's so many little quality... Ah, <laughs> Damn it, I just put those guns there. Really? So that's where the sneaky little blighters came from. The ones that came in and hit me here. They're out this way somewhere. Right. Two guns won't be enough. Nope. If I've learned anything, we need at least three. <laughs> Actually, we probably need about 40, but that'll do for now. <laughs> Yeah. All ah, right. So it's still happening over here. I need to get some radars up, eh? Yeah, they're almost hitting. They're almost getting to the wall. So we're gonna have to uh, fix that one up. Now we're bottom corner again. Woohoo! Constant attacks. Eh? I almost did it again. Damn. Oh, this is actually fun. Because it's not. It's, it's not overwhelming. At least not yet. I know it will. Be, I know it'll get there eventually. Because um, they're going to get ones that spit at us. and Isn't there like some like called a Goliath or something? Like the giant one? I don't know if we're going to have to deal with that one yet. But um, I have no idea how the what are they, the evolution or whatever that, that is works in this game. I've got no clue. I only know what the tutorial taught me and what I've learnt in my own playthroughs. Which I'm sure many of you can tell by this point isn't all that much. I mean it's enough to keep me going but um yeah you're not going to learn any expert tips or hints here except for like the the occasional obvious thing <laughs> if they're obvious they're not expert oh never mind all right well we need this to feed all the way back round um so we need more tracks uh i need more guns 
And I need ammo, so let's grab some guns. Another 25. Actually, let's just load this thing up, eh? You know what? Give me 3,200 metal plates. And you go. I'll take two stacks for myself, just in case I need them. Because, yeah, you don't want to be stuck out in the middle of nowhere without some metal plates, eh? <laughs> uh, now the ammo. There. You know Give me... 1800 rounds that's not bad we're not actually producing that much over here anymore so i might get rid of this yeah two of the three of these i'll get rid of three of these i might just make this my personal ammo box that way we're not going to soak up all the metal for this because yeah we need a lot more of these guys a lot more um which means i might just end up building another set down here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so these do um Crafting speed of one, but these belts only hold 15 things at a time. However, can can someone explain to me whether it's 15 on each side? Because <clears throat> see, if I hover over this, it's a square, right? And there's, there's there's two plates on each side in that square. What does it mean? Does it mean 15 in, like with one on this side and one on this side? Or does it mean each belt unit can move 15? Because um, I don't want to try and work out you know, 4 divided by 15, I'm um, 15 divided by 4, screw that. Um, you, you follow me? I, I'm assuming it's just 15, say 15 items moving, so 30? Or 15 can go on, on, on a fifth... I'm trying to find the words to explain it, but I'm definitely not doing it right, because even I can't understand myself. Yeah, I, I don't know how, exactly how the belts work. Anyway, we're over here for belts, so this isn't where we get them. Let's grab some walls. Need a couple more of those. Right. Um, I've got the bullets. Oh yeah, 1.K. 1.1.K. 1.8K of bullets. Let's um, get me some more armor piercing. What, what am I doing? Just hold shift. Okay. Uh, I'll also grab some copper plates. Uh, we're in the tank. Yeah, see, it's that spot. It's that spot that I just put that stuff in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like to learn my lessons. Typically, the harder the, the harder way, the better, but... You know, you can't always choose how you learn things. It's unfortunate, because we'd all choose to learn in our sleep, wouldn't we? But then would we experience anything at all? <gasps> and that was your existential life lesson from Dan today. <laughs> My girlfriend's sitting there laughing at me, because she knows it's fuck It's absolutely hilarious. Alright, so, I've walled off to here, so I'll just continue the wall off from here, eh? Wait, did I, no. Yes? Oh, almost left the gap. Jeez, you were just talking about how you weren't being a Muppet. Oh. Now that other wall section's coming under attack. Okay, love it, love it, love it. Definitely need that ammo getting out there then, don't we? Ah, they're hitting the new wall I just put in. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> and they're going to break through it too, aren't they? Nope. Well, that's interesting. See, those guys tried to run around it. Why? And why didn't I put in guns? Oh, man. See? Lessons learned hard way. Perfect. Alright, let's chuck in one, two, three. And we'll come up here and we'll repeat the same process we did with the ones down the other wall. At least, at least for now. Just overlapping two. Um, cause yeah, I, we need, we need guns out here, obviously. As he says, as he runs away with all the bullets. I love this hold control, right click, drag thing. Oh, that's awesome. Um, should I even bother for, yeah, let's fix these. I mean, I, I finally just hitting at a concrete wall would fix it. Which solves so many problems. Alright, we go. And I know there's a lot happening in the world right now. Um, I'm not going to talk about it. Alright. I like my video games. And I hope you, you, this is where you guys are, you know, come and escape here with me. Let's enjoy some stuff together, shall we? Well, other people... I hating on each other. Alright. Let's get this over here. 
I, I don't know why I went this high up with it. Dun, 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 dun. I can't wait for drones. Oh, I can't wait for drones. And now we're, we're, I think we're pretty much boxed in now, aren't we? I'm just, I'm making the same mistake again. Yep. Ah, uh, except this time they stopped them. Because who's this guy right here? Where did he come from? I have no idea. So let's make sure that they won't get in. We're going with the triple guns now. Just because I can and want to. There we go. Uh, probably need to put a couple more triples in here. Where are we? Well, we're getting hit over this side now, are we? <laughs> Alright. This is going to be great fun because I've also got to... Um, I've been doing the tech, obviously. And I've got to this. Uh, yeah, the oil processing. Um, which is fantastic because that's going to be our first outpost. Um, I need to stop saying um. Let's replace it with another word. Like, so... No, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, what I really want is this right here so i'll do this next because this is how we're going to power our outposts until um i just did it again <laughs> until we get uh until we get an actual power line or something out there because i have no idea um and i assume they do because they were attacking my conveyor belts they will attack the power poles won't they and i don't want my bases running out of power we'll just do doubles up here because i have not seen much much attack yet and let's face it i don't want to waste I do not want to waste my stuff. So, let's move you out to there. Heh, <laughs> just had to go and order pizza. <laughs> it's almost dinner time here. Alright, let's make sure everything's going. Alright, let's do this. Um, I figured I would pause it in there but while I did that, because, you know, I don't want to die. But I am kind of, I, I am kind of planning, do I put a death counter up when that happens? Because it's going to happen. Oh, especially when I forget the bloody tracks. Man, or conveyor belts, they conveyor belts, not tracks. Tracks are what go, though, a train's going, yes. Give me, oh, I don't want that many. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That'll do. 900, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we could finish this off with 900. What do you guys reckon? I'm still confused at, at why this is here. Oh, is it a life bar? Why, do, like, like this. Why do they need a life bar? And how do I make it go away? I mean, shouldn't they only have a life bar when it gets attacked like that did? Oh, I'm confused. Some say it doesn't take much. To them, I say, yeah, probably. Right, so that gun is never going to get ammunition. Um, that is the problem with putting it in the corner. But um, that gun's been naughty, so it can stay in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a dad, but I'm full of dad jokes. Right, uh, get rid of this. Was that seven guns going off? Damn! Okay, so if they come in this way, because what I'm thinking is, um, what's, what side are they on? Um, because eventually the bout's just going to end up full, isn't it? Actually, I don't care if that's the case. Let's have them come into this side of the bout. I was trying to think, should I get them to come into the other side? So we, we fill the belt up. But nah, I don't, I don't actually care about that. I don't even know if they're going to make it this far around. Alright, let's do a... Let's do a quick little... Quick little... Um, no, I was going to say, let's go do, go do a quick little tour. No, Dan, these things need arms. Like, they need inserters, mate. <laughs> actually, you know what needs inserters more than these guys? <laughs> the guys up the top, because they don't even have any ammo in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry about this. This is a complete waste of bloody time. Putting them in backwards? What the hell? And then two? What the? No. Alright, alright, alright. The arrow points in the direction that the ammo is going to go. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, it is Friday. That's not an excuse. Eh, yeah, I think it is. I think after doing what, like a 60 hour week, you get to have an excuse. 60? Actually, maybe more than that. Eh, I'm not counting. Can't be bothered. Maths, Friday? No thanks. 
That ain't my job. Alright, so attacking that same spot over there, eh? Actually, this is stupid because there's no belt over here. <laughs> right, let's do this. Ah! Oh. Is that actually in a place that has no ammo? No. Oh, <laughs> Playing with a bit of fire here, Dan. Oh, good. That's what makes it fun, right? Wouldn't it be fun if things weren't going wrong often enough? Alright. Let's get rid of these. We can reuse them somewhere else. Especially that ammo. Alright, well, hopefully in the next episode, we'll actually, I'll actually be able to get on to actually finishing up the... Um, well, not finishing. We're not going to be finished the factory for a long time. But uh, getting it actually operating properly. Because it's still a complete mess. However, hey, by the time you guys see this video, I'm probably going to have recorded about three or four more. Because the last... Yeah, the last four were recorded almost back to back. Like, they were recorded last week. <laughs> yeah, and then hopefully um, Dark Moon and I can work out a time to get a co-op going maybe tonight being my friday night hopefully sometime over the weekend which <laughs> really <laughs> i don't really have much time for video games but when i do i'm going to play them <laughs> so i don't have much time i probably have more time than most despite how long i work because this is not a job this is a hobby so i'd love to know if this works All right Let's check the let's check the perimeter. Actually, can we? Yes, we can start to do it without having to go there. Damn! Damn! That's a lot of carcasses. That is how you say it. yes, carcasses. How much power do these things use? Three hundred kilowatts. Um, ouch. So four of them is 1,200. Oh, we've got... We've got I don't know what the hell I'm even complaining about. We've got plenty of power. So in the, in, in the, on the map there, you can actually see what areas uh, it lights up. It also does do like a manual scan as well. Or oh, sorry, an automatic scan. Like it will... Um, what's the word here? It'll just start randomly scanning one square every now and then all over the map. I don't know if it's constant or not, but we are going to put in, I guess, one in every corner? Oh, does that work? Yeah, because now we can um, see this area without actually having to be there. So the next time we do a perimeter check, we won't have to walk around the whole thing. Hey, look at that. Caught up to the snake. <laughs> oh no, there's a gap there. Uh, let's get the next one in. Uh, where shall we put this bad boy? I know, I know, up in the corner. <laughs> Same place we put the last one. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll put it just in a little bit. So I don't know what we're going to do in this corner at all. Yeah, see, I think that little square is being scanned, right? How can, how can you tell? Oh, no, that was just pollution disappearing. Okay. Technology. Uh, I should probably go for these, shouldn't I? Because this is going to unlock the car, right? Yeah, and the train tracks to cut the tank. Which I'm not going to be able to get for a while. Alright, so let's, un yeah, let's unlock this. And yes, um, uh, Dark Moon tells me there's uh, an option in the menu before you start the game. <laughs> to uh, turn on research cues. I guess too late for that now. Um, however, I don't particularly mind that. Because doing one tick unlocks another tick. And I don't actually know which ticks are the best. I mean, I, that's that's a, what do you call them, a misnomer or whatever. I know which ticks are better than other ticks. Um, I just don't know the best way about, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like, for example, if I wanted the car, uh, I could cue that probably now, I suppose, because what else does it need? 
that's it, just this thing. Um, you know, but queuing this, whatever, there's no, there's no point, because I can't get any of this stuff. However, um, queuing up all of these would have been helpful, you know, just queue this next, and this next, and this next, that would have been pretty helpful. However, I also don't know what they're going to unlock half the time, because I don't know how to use the search func function. Um, you, you know what I mean? Because you, you want to type in something you're looking for. Well, how do you know what you're looking for if you don't know what there is? Um, always the typical problem in, um, in, in, in video games. However, um, how research normally works is you've got no clue what it is you're going to find until you start looking. That's the glorious thing about science. Um, despite what we may have been told over the last couple of years. Um, it does change, and it's meant to. Can't always be right. In fact, we're not meant to be. Alright, that's all the guns locked and loaded, right? Oh yeah! Haha! <laughs> that was a glorious episode. Look at that. We've got ourselves completely surrounded. We just need to put in one more radar. Uh, which we'll put in... Yeah, up in this corner. Oh. Ah, uh, Daniel, you dummy. Did I really... No. Oh, there's just not enough... <laughs> we just don't have enough ammo coming through yet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And load it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Screw this. <laughs> I'll just do this. <laughs> load it up manually. All right, guys. Uh, I might leave this one here. Now that we're nicely secure, we can start working on the factory, which I'll probably do in about an hour and a half or so once I've had dinner. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.